So what's next for our adventures? Sure thing. Mead or wine? Or just plain milk? Nice. A bit fancy now, aren't we? I don't think you have some of that wine on you, though. Here, I'll help you out. Likewise. This isn't necessarily a past journey, but I was thinking about this regardless. The Civil War. Waking up to this whole mess was truly something I did not expect. I expected a change in who was the High King, but I didn't know that things... they were more complicated. Cyrodiil being the seat of an empire, for one. And besides this whole civil contention for Skyrim's land, we have Altmer nationalists eyeing to conquer it as well. Marrying you was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I love you, and no matter what the future holds, I'm going to cherish every moment. It's like from the stories I used to hear, the two adventurers seeing the world. When we're done with this little tavern date, what do you say? Let's go out there and make some more stories. <laughs> I know. Sometimes, I kind of wish that we weren't so... How do you say this? Well, renowned. At this point, most of Skyrim has heard of your name, and half of it is trying to kill us. It seems like it's almost impossible to have a nice, leisurely stroll outside city walls without getting pounced upon or attacked. If we could, I would like to just leave here, you know? Travel to some distant place, settle down, live the peaceful life. Not to be known or seen as heroes or great warriors, but as simple country folk, really. How does it feel to be the mighty hero of Skyrim, distinguished for such tasks as being a courier, being a courier, being a courier, and lastly, being a courier. <laughs> what? It's true. Almost everything you've done revolves around that. Go to this place, kill some things, pick something up, and deliver it to someone. Oh, I was just thinking. You really stand out, you know that? A little bit like a nerd root, really. Very annoying at times, but also quite rare. <laughs> and precious. And like the nerd root, people tend to underestimate you. A measly 10 septums. But not me. I can spot a treasure when I see one. So, what do you want to talk about now? <clears throat> well, this one is a hard one. While I do like Ultimar wine, I would have to say the crown goes to Cyrodiilic brandy. The texture is just so... unique. The flavors are strong, but not overpowering and it sort of has a nutty, chocolatey aftertaste. Though, it doesn't help that the brandy is so hard to find in Skyrim these days. Oh, what is it? So, what do you want to talk about now? I feel sad for her. She's been through a lot, I can tell. Whether it be the death of her husband, Tori, or having to govern the entire province of Skyrim in the midst of a civil war and a looming threat of a Thalmor invasion. However, 
I'm confident she'll get through this. She's strong, and hardship breeds endurance. Oh, what is it? So, what do you want to talk about now? Yeah, it's not the most comforting thought, but it's a reality I'll have to face eventually. Seeing as how I'm a vampire, my soul will most probably end up in Cold Harbor. If I could though, I would like to potentially alter that fate. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy my vampire powers, but I, I hate what it's done to my family and who I ultimately have to submit to. Oh? What is it? So, what do you want to talk about now? Wow, looks like you're in a philosophical mood tonight. In terms of what I think, everyone is born as a blank slate. An infant, for example, doesn't know their right hand from their left. You can't hold them accountable for anything, because they can't grasp the concept of what is good and what is evil. However, when you get to a certain age, you start learning these things. That's when people can start erring towards the more good part of the spectrum, or quite the opposite. However, once you're on a certain end of this spectrum, it doesn't mean that you'll stay this way for the rest of your life. Some people rise as heroes and die as villains. Others, they work to overcome their evil with great effort. Ah, uh, it's nice spending time like this, just having drinks together 